Okay, guys, so let's go about this one click login procedure and let's get rid of it once and for all. We've got the opportunity now to change that to a direct login with the Dalversal website. So, what we need to do, guys, is go ahead and share my screen for a start. Okay, so just bear with me while I set this up and we can start from the beginning. Okay, guys, so you need to go to the star.dalversal.com login page and you need to log in exactly the same th way that you have been doing in the past. You need to use the one click login. OK, from there, you need to input your username together with your password. So in effect, what you're doing is you're doing a, a general login as you have been. Don't use that first time login. That's not how you do it. You just use your username, password and confirm that. Now, you'll then have to authorize the system to log you into Dalversal. So you click on authorize. At this point, up pops your account migration notice. OK. We would like to inform you that the one-click login feature on the Hyper Community will be phased out on April the 27th, 2024 at 23.59 GST to ensure uninterrupted access and security of your assets. Users must initiate the account migration process to Dalversal. Your prompt action is appreciated as failure to migrate your account within the stipulated time frame may result in potential asset loss. We appreciate your cooperation and understanding. So this needs to be uh, action before the 27th of April at midnight or minute to midnight. OK, so click on account migration and up pops your details, the e email is the one that's registered to that account, your username. And this is where you can put in your password. You can use the same password, right? One thing I will say, though, is that we have noticed that usernames may have to change to something of less than 10 characters, okay? So let me put, let me put my usual password in. OK, and let's send. Right, a code has been sent, but I do believe we may have a problem. So just bear with me. As soon as we get that code through. OK. OK, now watch this guy. Oh, it'd be best if we type it in there. There we go. You only get 60 seconds to do this. It might pop up with an error. There we go. Account length cannot exceed 10 characters. Now, what it should say is username length. OK. This is this has confused a lot of people. Let's try this. Three, six, nine, ten characters. OK. Now, what I'm going to do now is try and send another code. So rub that one out and send code. It says it's sent successfully. Now, it might send me another. It should send me a different code, which it, it's actually the same one, which is strange. OK, let's see if this works. Account migration successful. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. OK, so that's kept my same password, but I've had to change my um, username. OK, so there's my username now. General Kev. OK. So. And it's up the top now, look. OK. So let's log out and let's go through the normal process now of logging in. 
me refresh the page because it's not allowing my cursor to go in there. There we go. Okay. Let the internet just catch up with us and I need to see my name up there. Absolutely wonderful, guys. There we go. And just to make sure, let me see if my land's there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's have a look at me assets. Yeah, and my TFA. Absolutely perfect, guys. Absolutely perfect. I'm so pleased that that's sorted out now. So let me come back into the studio, stop sharing my screen. So there we have it, guys. It is really that simple. So there's just that one thing to be aware of. If you get that error of 10 characters, then your username needs to be smaller. OK, now you can see that I used exactly 10 characters. That does work. So it's anything up to and including uh, 10 characters. Okay, guys, best of luck. Hope everything works all right. Any problems, give us a shout and we'll try help all we can. All right, bye-bye for now.